What's up guys, welcome to another episode. I'm your host Jonathan Parkington and in this episode we're going to be talking about the elementary OS update. So we are now finally on a stable release. Um, in previous uh, videos that I've talked about elementary OS, it's been more or less talking about the Freya build, just like I am right now, but it has been more or less on an unstable version. It's been alpha uh, which means, you know, it's, it's pretty much stable, but it wasn't for the... Uh, for the you know 100% yes guaranteed uh, but right now it is uh, I am running on the 0.03 elementary build I'm not even gonna try to open up a web page because I have a lot going on in the background uh, but as you can tell I am doing this on the Acer C720 Chromebook uh, I do want to go ahead and put out a little note uh, for those that are using an Acer C720 or an Acer C740 for that matter I will have a link in the description so you can get Acer C7 uh, 20-40 Linux distro specifically made for these computers. That means that the trackpad, the suspends, uh, the volume buttons, uh, the brightness, which you probably can't tell on the video, uh, they all work straight out of the box, which is really, really nice and smooth. Uh, if you are installing the elementary OS on your, you know, your computer and you're still going to need to use some of those scripts. Uh, I've made some tutorials in the past where it shows you how to fix the trackpad, the suspends, uh, but for the script uh, to fix the trackpad, uh, you have to download a little sh file if I remember correctly, and then you're going to have to run that. Uh, within the sh file though, you have to open it up and uh, replace a little small segment. So you copy and paste something from uh, the tutorial and then you paste it in there uh, and it should have it to where you're going to need to use what you're doing is you're upgrading the kernel so the trackpad will work so it'll be 3.12.6 I believe in that tutorial um, you'll just update it with the kernel that you are using and to check the kernel out you just type in once you have it installed and say your trackpad's not working you're going to need a mouse obviously uh, just open up your terminal and type in you name space dash r press enter and it will tell you the version kernel that you have and so in that script just change the 3.12.6 or whatever it is to 3.18.7 or whatever your kernel version is press enter run the script reboot your computer and hopefully your trackpad will work now if you don't have any idea what i'm talking about then don't worry about that stuff that's in a whole different tutorial i'm just trying to cover everybody in one video uh, but getting back to this uh I have found out that it's extremely smooth. The one thing that I did notice is that uh, it just has a better uh, multitasking view. Uh, as you can see here, it did come with an application naturally in the other section, which is right there, that multitasking app. Uh, it's gonna be just that. That was located down here on the bar, but it took that away since I have a keyboard command for that. Uh, you can go into the settings and change your keyboards if you wanna you know, manipulate those to working the way you want. Um, another thing that I noticed right off the bat is just the fluidity of it all. Um, I do know that some of the applications got a little bit of an overhaul. Uh, one of those applications, I believe, is the calculator. I think that changed a little bit. I don't use the calculator too much. Um, another, I believe, will be the camera. Maybe this will pop up. So yeah, there's the camera for that. Um, I think I got an overhaul, the, uh, I don't know what else, I installed Vocal myself, it comes with the music, camera, videos, uh, the internet, depending on if you're going to use the the original Ace, or sorry, not the, uh, sorry, the original elementary OS ISO file, then you're not going to have a Chrome browser, you're going to have to install that, you won't even have Firefox actually, you'll have, I believe, Midori. And then you can just uh, use that browser to go get the Chrome browser or use the terminal command line, whatever you want to do. Um, for those that are using the Acer C720 version or the Acer C740 version, Chrome does come pre-installed, uh, which is really, really nice. Um, and that's about it. Now there's a few other tweaks here and there. Oh, another thing is also with the Chrome, or sorry, the Acer version distros, uh, elementary tweaks does come pre-installed, which is nice, so you don't have to manually do that. Uh, but for anybody else that's running this elementary OS, uh, you're gonna have to you do that. You can look up the commands, uh, either Google it, uh, you should be able to find it, or you can go to the YouTube channel, and I have a few videos showing you how to do that as well. 
Uh, but that's it when it comes to this tutorial, or sorry, this review. Uh, it's going to be extremely brief. Um, if you do have any questions, maybe before you go ahead and install this, uh, you can always, you know, ask them down below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible, uh, especially if it's more, you know, specifically towards a select device if something works or if you're looking for an application or software to work. Uh, I can go maybe test it out for you real quick. That way you don't have to spend all that time downloading and installing a distro only to find out it doesn't work and then revert back to what you had. Uh, but that's it. If you do have any questions or comments, as always, leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching. Peace.